Hey, good morning, YouTubers. <clears throat> it's uh, set about 7.30 a.m. on uh, Tuesday, um, February 25th, I believe, yeah. Anyways, um, Tuesday the 25th, yeah, that's what it says. Okay, so anyway, uh, Francis just sort of like staying home in the rain here but I found out that today is going to be the nicest day of the week it's supposed to be uh, 8 on a 1 to 10 scale and it's supposed to be nice and warm this afternoon so uh, I gotta get I gotta get some food shopping done today and I may go to the China buffet for lunch um, and I'm seriously considering um, going to see a movie today, but um, that's something you can do, right? I ain't been to a movie in quite a while, uh, maybe three months, and uh, but then again, maybe I'll just put that off to Thursday, but supposed to, supposed to, uh, tomorrow's supposed to get cloudy and rain again, and, and get cold, so uh, today's going to be the best day of the week. I don't know how the weekend's going to be, but anyways. So, uh, not much going on. Um, just goofing off at home. I gotta, I got, I gotta start cleaning up around here. I have all this junk. I got a junk mail pile over here that needs to get like bagged up and thrown in the dumpster you know uh, I get my mail I come in here and look at it the stuff I want to keep and look at goes over in a pile over here and the stuff that's just junk goes in a pile over there and sometimes this pile the good stuff ever I look at it I just say get rid of it goes in that pile so you know every once in a while you gotta uh, you know living here alone and not having any company and furniture you kind of get lazy you know it's like uh, whatever. And I gotta reorganize this computer desk, maybe move it over in the corner. I got a lot of things I could do around here, and uh, it just seems like I keep putting things off, you know. And, uh, kind of ran out of food, too. You know, like last week, I had that fiasco on Wednesday. I couldn't buy all the food I wanted and you know I was gonna get like maybe two weeks worth and then uh, I had that screw up with my debit card so they said they mailed another debit card out to me on the 21st so that was four days ago so but not that I need to use the debit card because uh, you know once my money is available in the bank like last week uh, my monthly checks I pay down my credit card balances so now I have some available credit on my credit card okay so I usually do most 95 percent of my purchases is on like credit card every month and uh, so you know if you pay if you pay your credit card like I make weekly payments and what happens is um, the chargers your average daily balance stays low and they only charge you interest on the average daily balance. Like I might be carrying a $500 balance, but because I made payments during, you know, every week I'm making one or two payments, you know, I'm sort of like paying things as I charge them. There's like a 30-day grace period. So like what happens is, uh, you know, on one of my credit cards, I think I, I make payments of like five dollars $600 a month. Because I might make, you know, fifty dollars this week, hundred dollars next week, and so um, what happens is, uh, you know, they're only charging me a couple dollars interest every month for for using this credit card, and then and then I get cash back, and the cash back builds up in 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 your cash back account. And that ends up being more than the interest they charge. See, it's actually I'm making money using my credit card. So, folks, 
and 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 I make it enough money it actually pays for the annual fee too. So so put that in your pipe and smoke it, huh? You got to use your noggin, okay? So I get the full access to using my credit card, buying what I need, not really sweating it too bit too much because I can defer a payment for several weeks uh, until I get my Social Security check again. And, you know, I'm floating the boat. And I'm not paying through the nose with a bunch of interest payments either, you know. In fact, I'm making a few bucks. So, uh, you know, you got to, you know, I probably never, never, ever would have figured this out until I actually started doing this. And then, and then you see it, you know. Wow, you know, only getting charged so much, and, and and my credit card is 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 only got like a five hundred dollar limit. So like, what happens is you know you don't get you're not charging so much that you're ever going to get in trouble. Okay, so uh, so what you do it's like a slush fund, right? You, is you charge things on this credit card, and I try to keep the balance like a hundred dollars below the limit. And then when it gets to to a hundred dollars below the limit, I'll make I make a payment. And and if you do that, and you know you're like charging like five hundred or more dollars a month on your credit card, but you're actually making payments of that amount, you're not going to be paying any interest because you're paying off the card. So basically, I make online payments right out of my checking account to my credit card, and I'm using the credit card, and and I'm making money. And plus, I have all the protection of having, like, a MasterCard or a Visa, and it's not costing me anything. So see, I know some people say, eh, interest, credit cards, and they all get blah, blah, blah. Well, that's because they're not using their noggin about how to use it, right? They probably make one monthly payment, the minimum payment, and then the balance keeps getting bigger, 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 and then they're getting, you know. So I've done it that way myself, you know, but after a while, I started saying, hey, you know, maybe I should just uh, use the credit card. And as soon as I charge something, you know, every week, if I make like $100 charges on my credit card, send them a $100 payment. I mean... That way you stay on top of it. Plus, you make money. I get a, I get one percent back or something like that. You know, like if I charge a hundred dollars on my credit card, I get a dollar back or something like that. You know, so those dollars add up. After two or three months, I'm I got nineteen dollars in my uh, cash back account, and that's more than what they're charging me for interest. You know, like my interest charge is probably like three or four bucks a month. You know. So I'm actually making a couple bucks a month using my credit card. And if you don't believe me, well, that's too bad, too. But I'm telling you, you can do it that way, and it won't cost you anything to use your credit card, okay? You just have to use it wisely, you know. And they love you, you know. And, and you have an excellent credit rating because you know, you're making all these weekly or bi-weekly payments on your credit card online you know I don't go through the snail mail I used to do that you get your statement every month and they'd say oh minimum payment hundred and twenty dollars and blah 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 you write a check you stick it in the envelope and boom gone okay and then and you know what I mean but you know I don't do things like that anymore I I, I just um, I do online banking and uh, you know anytime I want to make a payment I can just like boom make a payment on a, any day of the week and you know sometimes it takes like all day or maybe the transaction doesn't go through till the end of the day but you are credited for making that payment on that day right so just a little wisdom you know um, so credit cards I think are great you know some people don't like them I think they're great because it's like it's like it's like an emergency fallback, you know. Like, um, you know, you just have to make sure that when you get paid, 
you pay those charges off, okay? So that you know that they don't keep piling up and piling up and piling. That's when people get in trouble. Okay? So I mean, like if I did not have an income, well, I probably wouldn't be using the credit card because I'd know that, oh gee, you know, I'm not gonna be getting a check next month. I don't know when I'm gonna get paid again, and then you know. You just don't you know, charge things unless you have the ability to pay, right? That that's almost considered uh, "thou shalt not steal." Oh, I was on the bus um, the other day. You know, they post these signs up up near the roof, all these different advertisements and stuff. So, anyways, they had some Florida law up there, and one of the laws it said that if you harass or assault, assault a bus driver or uh, any uh, employee of the bus system, you know, whatever. It's a felony. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, you know, you could give the guy a little shit if he if he did something you didn't like, but you know what? If if you st if you physically harm or attack the bus driver. That's a felony, okay? Think about it. all those passengers on that bus. If you start hitting or hurting the bus driver, that, that's a felony. I mean, he's driving. He's responsible for everybody on that bus. And um, it makes sense, too, right? And then, and then, you know, they say, oh, they don't want to hear any filthy language. You're not supposed to play the radio. They don't want anybody drinking beverages on the bus. And there's all good reasons for that. You know, if you want to drink or smoke, get off the bus, you know. And then, uh, oh, and another thing, there was another posting, and it had the, the law or whatever, number. And then it says, uh, if you fail to pay your fare, or refuse to pay your fare. I mean, the bus driver doesn't have to let you on the bus, okay? If you don't pay your fare, you're off, okay? You have to, like, get off the bus. And 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 then it says right there in the law that if you get on the bus and you don't pay your fare, and let's say the bus driver, you know, the bus driver probably isn't going to get up and physically remove you from the bus. He's just going to call it in. And then um, the police will probably show up down the road, and he'll stop, and the police will come on, and they'll grab your ass, and that's considered theft, okay? That's what it says. You'll be guilty of uh, being a thief for stealing a ride on the bus. <laughs> I read that, I go, oh, man, you know. You know, sometimes people don't have the full fare, and the bus driver, like, lets it go by, you know. But, but you know, I have a change person. You know, if somebody's short a quarter or something, I'll, I'll give them some change, you know. And if, I, and if I'm talking to the person at the bus stop, and, and somebody asks me and says, um, you know, I don't have fear to ride the bus and I have to get somewhere and stuff. And they ask me nice and courteously, I'll give them a buck, buck and a half, you know, no problem. But sometimes people ask you, and I and I flat out don't have any cash because I usually buy everything with a credit card. And very rarely do I not have a few dollars in my wallet. But if I got a bunch of groceries and it's really inconvenient to like, take my wallet out and if he looks like a seedy character that like uh, you know sometimes you don't want to pull your wallet out because you don't know if you're going to get ripped off or not you know but you know if I've talked to the person for a few minutes and and they seem like a you know nice person and they have a need I'll give them something you know so anyways Okay, that's Tuesday morning, Chooch. 15 minutes, got to go. Can't believe I talked this long, but um, hopefully the red flashing boring light isn't flashing in your head, okay? Love everybody.
Have a nice day. I will.